check out that landscape does that just have flathead written all over it or what welcome back to another video guys i'm john from adrift fishing and today we're hunting flathead so setup i'm using got a nice ocean angler rod here it's 2.53 meters long casts like a dream got the little z-man on there with the ned rig and that's what's been doing all the damage that's what got me the real big one the other day we're going to chuck it around here on all these sand flats in amongst all those little pockets of weed, which you can hopefully see because there's no Polaroid on that one, but I can see them anyway. And we're going to go pluck some flathead. That's the master plan. Don't know if we'll get any big ones, but we should be able to get some decent sized ones. Let's go plugging. Let's go find some flatties, boys. Let's get hooked up. Check out what I've caught. <laughs> he got shagged. Yuck, smells bad too. That's all right, one less cormorant. No one's crying about that. Oh yeah, boy. Just got something. Get out of the weed, get out of the weed. Ah, wrasse. Not what I was after. It's alright, we have to caught something. Alright, let's look over here. Let's try that weed patch. And then we'll try the other side. Got something. Ah, that'll be a little flatty. That'll be a little flatty. Sure is. Yeah, a little baby flatty. Very relaxed, I don't want your spikes. There you go, little guy. Made a Jeep. Well, that's target species. She has them in the right sort of place. Let's just see if we can find something a bit bigger. Judging by his colour, he was sitting right on the sand. Yeah, so that's cool catching that little flatty. Yeah, I mean, look, even, even if they're not big flathead, even the little ones are still fun, especially when it's a target species and you're catching what you're actually intending to catch. A little bit testing with the wind. Primarily, it's behind me, but it does create a bit of a belly in the line. I've missed actually quite a few hits. Um, but, hey, you've got the conditions that you're given, so you work with them. But, yeah, we'll keep casting around, see if we can get an upgrade on that boy. Not asking for much, just a, a nice three metery. Oh, yeah, just had another hit. That'll be another flatty. Yep, there we go. There's his mate. There's his mate. Go back in. And he's gone. Beautiful. Two for two. Check out what I found. Hey, bro. Ooh, he actually got me. Hey, mate. There you go, go in the water. Hey, they're all not big fish though, but and interestingly, they've been sitting relatively out in the open, which is surprising. I would have picked them for more more cover, you know. But they're right, right in the middle of this this little area here. You learn. Now go straight out the back. Do a big long work and see see what's out the back. Good thing about these Ned rigs is that um, you don't get snagged. Well, not, not nearly as much as the normal style heads. Because they tend to sit straight down and the tail up, there we go, a little flathead. Um, yeah, they don't tend to get, 
get snagged. Oh, he's a dangerous size. Chill. Yeah. yeah, so what I was saying is this. So your normal plastic, when it hits the bottom, it sits, lies on its side, you give it a flick, and you get jagged into a rock. Whereas uh, the Ned rigs, when they sit on the bottom, they sit like that. And when you kick it up, it just shoots straight back up. So you have less chance of the hook biting than if it's lying flat on the ground like that. Just a little helpful hint. And that's why I've been using them so much lately. And even on um, Snapper on the inshore in New Zealand, they worked really well. It's crazy. Look at all the tops of all these flat rocks, like up here. That's legit cormorant shit. Like years and years and years of cormorant shit. That's mad. Fucking messy bastards. Sorry guys. I'm gonna take your rock. Maybe. Well there's not really much out there. Oh what is out there? A little patch there. Yeah I might work that patch. Just in case there's one in that little sand hole. That wind is a killer. It's got no line control at all, just like pulls lure around. Oh, you know what I might go? I might go a bit lure. Yeah, I'll do that. Oh, hello. Be another little flatty. No, it's a whiting. Oh, King George of all things. Later, bro. Oh, that was surprising. I was probably more expecting a uh, yellow fin, to be honest. But you get some su surprise, those Z-Mans catch everything. Oh, look, oh, there's a bloody seal just down here. Interesting. Nah, I'm gonna have to flathead on the beach. Let's go find some flatties. Alright, let's make a cast. Big stinger. Good size eagle, Ray. Feet. <laughs> Another little fella. 